And here we see this all across the state of Massachusetts. And we'll remember, this isn't a one-shot wonder. Republicans are energized more and more this morning because in Massachusetts, the traditionally blue state, independence came to them following what happened in Virginia and New Jersey statewide elections as well. This is why the Republicans think this race in Massachusetts is something they can use to build on nationally, using concerns about taxes and spending, the health care legislation, and don't forget terrorism. That was also a key point of the Brown campaign in the closing weeks. So you were just there in Boston. You just came from Boston. You spent some time there. You're from there. Why is the political momentum, a year after President Obama was sworn in as President of the United States, now swinging toward the conservatives and the Republicans? Because the Democrats are in charge in Washington, and voters are still just as anxious, if not more anxious, about the very issues that drove President Obama to such a big victory back in 2008. They are still concerned about unemployment. In fact, in many states, it's higher now than it was in 2008. They're still concerned about what they perceive to be unfair use of government resources to bail out banks on Wall Street. George W. Bush started that program, but President Obama has continued it. This affects him with Washington. The President promised, and this was key with independent voters, he promised, we're going to get along in Washington. I'm going to reach out and work with Republicans. Well, voters now, and especially independents, see Washington as more partisan than it was back in 2008. So the economic anxiety has transferred over to Obama and the Democrats. The political disaffection has transferred over to Obama and the Democrats. So independent voters who wanted change in 2008 still want it. The problem for the Democrats is they're now the party in charge. Well, John Kick, stand by. The surprise winner in Massachusetts, the senator-elect Scott Brown. He says voters sent a message that they're tired of business as usual. Should his fellow Republicans also be wary of the mood around the country? Well, good morning, everybody. Senator Scott Brown, Republican. Maybe there's a new breed of Republican coming to Washington. Maybe people will finally look at somebody who, who's not beholden to the, the special interests of the party and who will look to, you know, just to solve, solve problems. You know, I, I, I've always been that way. I, I've always, I mean, you remember, I, clean, I supported clean elections. I, I'm a self-imposed term on this person. I believe very, very strongly that we are there to serve the people. Yeah, David Durgan is here, uh, part of the best political team on television. You live up there in Massachusetts. Uh, give us your sense of how, how surprising this election was. Well, in the last few days, it, 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 because the momentum went his way, the results were not surprising. But still, the election was stunning. I mean, historically, this is a stunning election, especially after Barack Obama won by 26%. That's Democrats control all the statewide offices. They control the enti entire congressional delegation, and there's a tradition behind that. But I want to emphasize something about what Scott Brown did and why he's different in part. Uh, well, if you went to his website during the campaign, it was hard to find. I don't think it's on there that he's a Republican. He ran strictly as an independent. He didn't identify his words. He was very smart. He didn't have the Republican heavyweight come in. He didn't have the establishment come in. He essentially ran an anti-establishment campaign. And what Democrats have to be concerned about tonight is not simply Massachusetts, but there are a lot of polls in other states now. In fact, around the country, you find that, generally speaking, independents are breaking about two to one against Democrats right now. It's a smart strategy, Donna, because in New Jersey and in Virginia,